Eno ye nsisi nkano yaba subu zibe nyamabe gati ya mawanga agali mkagu guwa igadi ya tuzidu ando mguange yomurundi ogo kusatu. Egendele duwa mkwefu metiliza kunsonge zuwe lako. Generally, the African market, you can see 1.2 billion. So we have a lot of uh, potentials, we have more resources, we have also, if we work hard, we have diversified market. Echi wade chaka rusu mbisoro. Sakama teka agenja ulo kufa mawanga aga kugirebi soro nenye ya mebiva mu Uganda. Na mawanga ga iga di okutuwa lila wamu. Gebe sinzo kubaga njizibu wake bilo uozo. Uh, necessary to address and that's why it's important that like tomorrow and the day after we have a meeting between all the chief veterinary officers between the IGAD region and the MENA region. So they can convene together and agree on the sanitary measures. The exporting countries in the IGA region are committed to supply healthy and fit to standard animals and, uh, animals and animal products. The livestock value chain actors, including the government, have been progressively working to improve animal disease surveillance, vaccination and disease control to improve compliance. To Dr. Loza Demunu Kamisu na hivyo blamu mbiebi solo mchitongo li chibi obuli miobulu nzinobu vubi. Agamba government ya inaka wefu begu eri kuo kuge mensorozo na mguanga. Nechi gendele choku lua insa no kumalida udale chiru adde chaka rusu mguanga. Chisobo so kuongira kumuendo gwe nyame tundi wakatale kensiyo na. Those that are susceptible to foot and mouth disease are going to be vaccinated within three years. And once we vaccinate all of this, we are going to bring down the prevalence of foot and mouth disease are uh, in the country. O kusinzi la kuwalebi afu mizibwe chitongo le cha ubosi mkubalebi solo kwa nkumi bili abili mugumu. Kula ganga Uganda buweli na ente zile mbukade kumi na buna no msobyo. E mbuza zile mbukade kumi na msambu no kusukamu. E ndigo mbukade buna na echintu. E mbizo mbukade mkaga. Sakebi nyonye bilu ndi buwebili mbukade atano msambu. So what we have done is to encourage the exporters and the importers to be aware of the standards and of course contact the uh, veterinary services of either countries, the exporting and the importing on good time so that they are aware of the standards that are required of them before they can engage in business.